Hey friend, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I list them on eBay and Poshmark, and I sell them for a profit. Today I have three items that sold yesterday. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd. Oh, uh, yesterday was kind of slow. Three items, gross sales amount of $80.25. Um, honestly, <laughs> summer can be slow. So I'm the black hat again. You found a black cat again. So this is a belt. Is it? Um, it has a little detailing on there, some flowery type stuff. And somewhere in here it tells me, I don't think this is the right one. Nope, there it is. This is Timberland. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, maybe. It says Timberland. It says uh, genuine leather. There's some numbers. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Timberland leather belts have an average sale price of $13.51 and a 14% sell through rate. Uh, mine sold for $15. That was an offer I took. So all of these were offers that were sent to me. Um, I take offers. Uh, especially when they're reasonable. There have definitely been times when I have either countered. I don't think I've ever declined an offer. I have let some run out. Uh, sometimes accidentally, you know, I'm just busy and it happens. Um, sometimes purposefully because I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, I had somebody send me a $10 offer on something and they said it was because the shipping was too high. Like, but it was like, I don't know, it was like more than 50% off. How many more do you have? Uh, just two. And this, I wasn't really sure what to do. And so I just let it run out. I lost the sale on that, but anyway, when I, I'm gonna fill this with some stuff, but I'm gonna do that in a minute after I'm done videoing. <laughs> Just because it's loud and it's already loud out here. I don't know what is happening, but I feel like it's just buzzing. Uh, the belt sold for $15 plus shipping. $21.90 was the total. I've had it for a year. Yikes. Bought it at a garage sale. My average cost of goods was about $158. <laughs> Apparently I averaged it and my profit is $10.27. Uh, the next two items I got at the same estate sale it was like a garage sale style estate sale uh this is a dress it's kind of a moo moo style hawaiian dress i would say it's midi length uh, it is a plus size and the brand is a k i don't know how you say that a k in hawaii uh i don't know if it was um made in hawaii for sure or not the um, the tag was quite faded. I didn't even think it said that, but, um, the Hawaiian style, Moo Moo style dresses, especially in plus sizes, have sold really well for me. This one actually, um, has a 50% sell through rate. <laughs> Mine was the only one sold and there's only one more listed in a plus size. If I take plus out of the equation, um, this specific brand has an average sell price of $18.19 and a 24% sell through rate, which I still think is pretty good. Uh, mine sold for, no, it's already been paid for. Uh, mine sold for $22 plus shipping. So they paid at $28.90, took two months to sell. Uh, my average cost of goods at this estate sale was $2.64. So my profit was $14.79 which is great. Uh, so again, I took an offer. I had it listed for $30, which is about what I would normally, I don't know, I feel like this style of dress sells around $30 generally, but obviously the, you know, the comps didn't tell me that. So I listed it at $30. They sent me the $22 uh, offer, which I thought, seemed reasonable, 20% uh, off of 30 would be $24. So 20% is what I send, um, I send offers too. So I take offers, 
I do have best offer set on on my store. Um, I think on every single item. Uh, that's not true. Sometimes Bye. when, hey, have fun. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Um, sometimes when I first start, um, first push out a listing for the very first time and they have good comps and I think I can get that price, then I will leave it as um, no best offer. I kind of just started doing that a few months ago. Uh, and then my, my plan is then when I go in to relist it, if it hasn't sold by then, to go ahead and put best offer on it. I don't know, this is Talbot's. So this is a couple things about the sweater. It is a plus size and it's also merino wool. I kind of remember when I did this haul, cause I did a haul for this estate sale. Um, I kind of remember the comps being really good for this sweater and then now it's not. So I don't know if it was just, you know, closer to spring and the comps were still, you know, had some winter leftovers. I don't know. Um, but the comps right now say the average sell price is $24.53 and a 21% sell through rate. Mine sold for $21. I think that was about 30% off, right? Um, that seems reasonable to me. And honestly, once they paid their shipping, they paid $29.45. So if I had it listed at $29.96, it's kind of like they're just getting free shipping. And I, I find that that happens a lot when I get an offer, that it does kind of seem like it just covers their shipping. And that, I mean, that's kind of understandable. Um, it took two months to sell. Again, I got it at that, um, that estate sale that was kind of like a garage sale. It was a garage sale, like an estate sale. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, my profit is fourteen fifty-five. My profit for the day was thirty-nine sixty-one, which is you know lower than I want it to be, but better than zero. So I will take it. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So I'm curious if you have best offer set on your store if you are on your items you don't even have to have a store I don't think to have best offer put on so I'm curious if you have best offer on your items if you accept offers if um if you have like some sort of system or do you just kind of play it by ear I guess of like um a certain percentage that you would accept or do you decline? Do you counter offer? I'm just kind of curious how other people do it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that there's a right way or a wrong way to do it. I think everyone just has to kind of has their own, their own thing and their own system and what works for them and what's important for their business model. Um, but I do accept offers um if they're reasonable if they're unreasonable i generally counter i don't think i've ever declined sometimes i'll let them run out anyway uh that's all for me thank you so much for joining me i appreciate you so much make sure you like the video subscribe if you haven't already i do these ship with me videos every day at 8 p.m eastern that's the plan anyway just to kind of share what um a realistic and chaotic and interrupted uh sales day looks like um, for a part-time reseller. I'll see you soon.